Uh, it's getting a tad warm in here with this greenhouse fan turned off, so I'll make this quick. Uh, this is my final update for the my first time ever greenhouse hydroponics, and uh, I must say it's completely exceeded my expectations. I've got uh, acres of kale plants here I use for juicing, and I don't think I'm going to be able to get through all this. And I have um, some Chinese yellow cucumbers back there that are flowering. You probably can't see those. I had four uh, wonderful lettuce harvest here. You can't really see. This isn't too exciting, but I've, I've cut these plants down four times right to the base, and they keep coming back every two weeks. I had some amazing strawberries, too, but the kids came in here yesterday and cleared those out. And what else? So, oh, pretty excited about the peas. These are just coming in this week. They're starting to really fill out their pods. And I've got masses of these things going all the way up. This pea plant is probably four and a half feet tall. And the green beans have really taken over. I've got probably 14 foot vines. They go up to the roof and cross over and double back a few times on themselves. It's pretty amazing. Um, I'm pretty excited. This I can come out here anytime and grab enough ingredients to make a, a green drink or a salad. I don't even have to go to the store. I just come out here and grab whatever. There's probably enough here to sustain a person for a month on the green stuff. Um, things I've learned is do not crowd your beds with seeds because you get the situation I have here. And uh, oh, the one thing I did wrong is I stepped up the nutrient solution to uh, aggressive growth too quickly and what happened was my uh, bean plants reacted to that and a few leaves wilted and withered away a little bit of yellow spotting there like a, like a burn but uh, that was easily rectified with some more water everything else handled the aggressive growth solution just fine and finally I would say uh, make sure you have a fan blowing on your plants at all times during the daytime because you'll get what happened to me is this plant here grew up really quickly the leaves filled out nice and heavy and then I came in one day and several of the plants were just falling over on themselves they couldn't hold their own weight up so if you put a fan on them it strengthens the stalks and they like that and you have no more issues so there you have it quick update I've got beans going to the moon I've got kale for days and everything's looking good and to wrap things up, I just wanted to share uh, one other thing. I threw in some uh, hard red wheat berries last winter. I wasn't expecting much, but uh, I can see why this stuff's been growing for a few thousand years successfully. It, it doesn't require any maintenance. It doesn't seem to be bothered by, by uh, pests or anything, and I've got a viable crop of three and a half foot tall wheat here. So, this is just an experiment, and maybe next year I'll do some more of this. Oh, and one other thing, I'm uh, pretty excited about this guy. This is this feathery, feather like thing here is asparagus. And I guess asparagus beds take several years to establish themselves. And the first year you're going to uh, get something like this comes up as the roots are spreading underground, ready for actual asparagus next year. And uh, got some outdoor peas doing well. I've got uh, this is a beet. You got radishes and this is a volunteer tomato. No idea what, what this is about, but it's either cherry tomato or a great big tomato. So there you have it, wheat and asparagus.